You're exactly right. Charles, do you think this is a game changer? Or as some are saying today, it's just overblown. It's, uh, it, it doesn't conflict with what the White House has told us thus far, and it's meaningless. Uh, all of those, it's wrong, wrong on all of those counts. It is in conflict with, with what we've been told, with what Jay Carney has been saying, and that is their story has always been this stuff all came from the CIA, from intelligence, so it was completely clean. Now we know from Morrell, who testified under oath, he at the time was the deputy director of the CIA, that he never brought up the video, so it didn't come from him. That leaves only the White House and the State Department. We now have the smoking document, which is the White House saying, we're pushing the video because we don't want to blame it on the failure of our policies, which is what anybody who's looked at this assumed all the way through. There before an election, Obama saying, you know, Al-Qaeda is dead, GM is alive, Al-Qaeda is dead. He's running essentially the foreign policy issue on which the whole campaign is based, is one that says that he killed bin Laden, Al-Qaeda is on the run. So this undermines the whole narrative, therefore they have to invent the video. So I think this is extremely important. Now, I know what's going to happen. The mainstream media are going to say, oh, it's so complicated, and they're not going to look into this, and without it, it's going to be quite a struggle. I think the Republicans have something here that really ought to be looked at. I just don't know if there's going to be any interest in the mainstream media. They should, because this exposes a cover-up of a cover-up. The fact that it was redacted when the documents were ag were asked for and only revealed by a court order is telling you this is a classic cover-up of a cover-up. And that is a serious offense.